beautiful Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for the end of March right through to the end of April 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aries, I'm doing this reading on the 22nd of March, 2022, and it's good right through to the 22nd of April. So let's see what's coming up for you. I'm gonna get your overall faded energy, and then a little bit more about the details as to what is happening in your career, okay? So we've got the High Priestess and the Empress card. So uh, definitely sort of honing your skills, uh, recognizing that you have value in your career, that you bring a lot to the table. Um, and we got the Sun card, so beautiful outcome there. Uh, the first card is your protagonist energy, second card is anything that's blocking you, um, and the third card is your outcome. So I'm just gonna get all your cards first before I uh, read your energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know regarding their career? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aries? We have the King of Wands, lovely, uh, wonderful energy. That's you showing up in your power there. Uh, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. We've got the World card. Thank you so much for it, guys. Do you want that card? No. Uh, thank you so much for it, guys. We have the Moon card. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Okay, and we've got the Ace of Wands. So a lot of inspiration, a lot of, I feel like you're getting a boost of energy where you may have felt a little bit disillusioned with your career recently, or you may have felt a little bit confused about all the effort that you're putting in and how you're not seeing the rewards of your labor as quickly as you had hoped for because the resistance position just shows me that you're confused about the effort that you're putting in, that you should be getting more for you, 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 what you bring to the table. And you're absolutely right. Because your protagonist energy, you've got the King of Pentacles here. Uh, and as I said, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. So I feel like your uh, goal is to either step into some sort of leadership position that brings a lot of money. I mean, there's a lot of money on the table here. You're going to achieve and go after whatever it is you set out to. And you're going to bring in uh, that uh, major finance with regards to your career. But the protagonist energy is the high priestess. So I feel like this is about you connecting to your wisdom. And I feel that it's almost like I'm getting this question with this card right now. And I don't get this uh, question with this card. Um, actually, I've really ever got th this question with this card, which is, is there something I don't know? Or is there something that I'm missing as to why I'm not getting the success that I've been going after? Is there something I'm missing? And, and the answer is no. Uh, you're bringing full game, okay? That's what I feel here, Aries. You know, you got King of Pentacles energy and the world energy. So I feel you're stepping into a new cycle where you're going to be a lot more abundant, um, but you may be seeking deeper meaning. Uh, I feel like your career is not really logical, okay? I feel, I mean, let me rephrase that because they're asking me to rephrase it. It's not that your career is not logical. I feel like it's opportunity and luck is not a logical process. So I feel like it's been divine timing, waiting to be in the right place at the right time. And I feel now is the right time because there's definitely like some sort of creative boost that you're going to get. Maybe it's a new project or there's a new job that's more creative that you're going to um, sort of take charge of. Um, and, but I feel deep down intuitively, you can feel that there's change. You can feel the energy shifting. You know that something really positive is coming, okay? Um, oh, just as I say that, they're giving me a song. Okay, it's, so it goes kind of like, oh, 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 I got a good feeling. Yeah. Um, 
and then there's a burst, some bursts of the song. It's kind of like, uh, oh gosh, got a good feeling. I mean, this is a very famous song. Um, I've heard this before, but they're giving me bursts of the song, and part of it was um, doubt better leave. I think it said. Um, so, I mean, because you got the Empress card in the resistance position, perhaps there is a little bit of self-doubt going on here. Um, I got a good feeling. So maybe you do have that good feeling that something is going to change. I feel like, and I'm going to just take a little wild stab in the dark as to what so who sings that song, because I'm trying to wreck my brains. They're not giving me anything other than the song. But I want to say it's like Flow Rider. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Okay, that's what's coming to my mind right now. So... I'm probably wrong and I do apologize if I'm completely wrong and I've upset anybody who's like a major fan of whatever song this is. Um, I've got a good feeling. Yeah, I, f I really feel it is. Anyway, so either that song comes on the radio just before you listen to this reading or it comes on after this reading or you hear that song like as you're walking in the next four to five weeks. I mean, you could be walking down the street and there's a car that is playing that song really loudly and it catches your attention. That is a symbol that there is something changing in your energetic sphere, which brings some really good karma and some good luck in terms of your career. OK, I mean, you could be in the store and you hear it. And you're like, oh. That's the song. That's the song. Then get ready because I feel like there's something coming on in here, an ace of wands. So there's um, something enterprising coming on in here. Okay, something that aligns with your, you know, unique spark um, and brings you on a bit of an adventure. It's, it's like your vision. You get to take charge and amplify your vision. Uh, it's like you, you start to live what you thought you wanted to achieve, if that makes sense. Okay, um, so the high priestess also is about connecting to your higher wisdom, um, trusting in the unknown. I know that's very, very difficult to do, but when you get that card, it is about having faith. So I do feel like some of you are trying to have faith even through the uncertainty, okay, because we got that moon card there. Now, the King of Pentacles indicates you're bringing your A-game, and uh, you invest everything you have whenever you set your mind to it. When you get the King of Pentacles energy, this is about you. Uh, I keep getting this word enterprising. They keep giving it to me for you, okay? It did come up in one of the other readings. Uh, I rarely use that word enterprising, but uh, perhaps it's relevant to your situation. I feel like this is something like Either you're intending to be your own boss or you're setting up, uh, you know, being an entrepreneur or something like that, or stepping into a leadership role, or that is your intention because this is your protagonist energy. I feel like the world really is your oyster. I feel like this is a new cycle where you get to level up and there's more finances attached to this. The King of Pentacles is someone who makes really great decisions, someone who um, is a reliable leader, someone who is bold, someone who has a plan. And I feel like you've got a plan to make more money. Um, and I feel like it's not just about the money because we've got the Empress here um, and we've also got the Sun. I feel like this is about you achieving what you set out to do. They're actually showing me the throat chakra area. So perhaps this is something, even though we got no swords here, um, perhaps this is something, you know, I mean, everybody kind of uses their voice for their work in some way, but I feel like your voice is relevant or you're negotiating a better deal. They're showing me the throat chakra area. Now, that can mean that you are going to have to co a conversation with someone who is in a position of power and you're going to ask them for more money. Or I feel like you are going to be in a position of power and people are going to take notice of your voice in some way. There's something here about voice. I mean, maybe you just do like voiceover work or you're someone who is on the radio or you're someone who is an influencer because we got that King of Wands energy, Aries. So I feel... I feel like this is about you using your voice. Also, they're showing me someone um, perhaps having some sort of procedure or something on their uh, throat chakra area. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Uh, I feel like it's something like, it could be like a mole being removed or it could be, um, I feel like it's not a major procedure is what I'm picking up on. Um, but I feel like, you know, uh, the sun card indicates, uh, you know, a happy, joyous outcome. So just so you're aware. The world card is about success. So I feel like you're investing all of your energy, your time, uh, your attention towards success. And I feel you're not hard, you're not afraid of hard work. Uh, the King of Pentacles is someone who sits back and looks at everything that they have achieved because they have put in the hard work already. So I feel like you're going to be really proud of yourself for everything that you have achieved. Um, the world card is also about being in the right place at the right time to be noticed or to align yourself with whatever it is you're trying to manifest. Trust in yourself because I feel like you're finding an opportunity where sometimes there is no opportunity to be found. Even in uncertain circumstances, you are going to manage to thrive and survive. So I feel this world card is like 
um, success or completion. I mean, some of you may be completing a cycle at a workspace and de deciding to be your own boss, being an entrepreneur, or perhaps you're uh, completing a cycle um, in a certain position and then you're leveling up uh, to the next stage, whether you're getting a raise, promotion, or some sort of new investment income. Um, and some of you may actually use your intuitive gifts uh, in some way, because I feel some of you are um, healers, uh, faith, you know, faith healers as well, people, uh, you've got mystical vision is what they're giving me. So uh, some of you may be wanting to set up your own tarot uh, channel or uh, connect to things like Reiki or cupping or meditation or uh, massage and things like that. So I feel like that's not for all of you, but I feel these are things that have really influenced you. And I feel that this is something that you may think about turning into a, a viable business yourself, okay? And it may be um, a side business, but I'll, I'll pull a card on that just to see that, okay? Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angel. Can you please? No, new start. We got Ten of Swords here, new start. It's in the reverse. So I feel like you're opening yourself up to freedom. I feel like you're recovering after a period. Uh, there may have been a, a difficult period where you felt like you lost your way or you felt really disillusioned with um, what you wanted to do. Maybe you felt a little bit loss of motivation or drive. Um, but I feel like you're recovering that. You're moving on from something. Now, some of you may have had an ending at a workspace as well already. So uh, if you lost your job, for example, I feel like you've got a really awesome idea. Um, and I feel like this takes you to a really high position. Um, I feel like you're leveling up in some way, bossing up in some way, and it brings in a lot more money. The, the only thing that's sort of crossing you here is you may feel a little bit disillusioned about the energy that you're putting in uh, to things because the Empress card, you know, she's already sown seeds. So she's already been there, got the idea and started nurturing it to term. So there's something here that you've been trying to achieve. And I feel like, you know, um, this is about you recognizing your value because when things do not go the way you're hoping for, or they don't show up in the time frame that you're hoping for, sometimes you may beat yourself up about it and feel like it's something to do with you or there's something that you need to change. But they're indicating you're putting the right work in, you know, you're putting your all into everything, you're bringing your A game. And I feel like the challenge is over the next couple of weeks, you're going to start to see things sprout, start to see things moving in the right direction. And I feel like having confidence and knowing that you're going to be successful is actually half the battle won already, okay? The Empress card is you are brimming with potential. You are a powerful creator. You are actually cr creating uh, your destiny. Thoughts really do become things. You know, the Empress, you know, she puts herself first and she knows that she is capable of transforming. As you can see, the butterfly there is over the third eye chakra. So you can see the future. You are a visionary. You're the sort of person who sees what you want to do, sets out, sets the intention, does it, achieves it, you know, um, and I feel with that sun card, this is accomplishment, this is success, this is joy, this is abundance. Um, but because this is in the resistance position, you may feel sometimes a little bit scattered in your energy, or you may feel that you have limited potential uh, in certain areas. Um, and that just comes down to your confidence. Sometimes you may feel like, oh gosh, maybe I can't do it, or maybe the universe is against me, or maybe, you know, maybe it's not right for, you know, success doesn't happen to people like me. That's not true at all, my beautiful Aries. They want you to be confident. They want you to be aware that you're uh, capable of creating a profound am amount of wealth and prosperity. I mean, this card basically means uh, prosperity and, you know, comfort, joy. I mean, some of you, for example, there may be a career that you want to get off your ground, off the ground, and you found it difficult to sort of put a little bit of time in because perhaps you've got children or you're looking after a family, you're spinning all the plates, okay? Um, when the time is right, the time will appear, just so you're aware, okay? Go easy on yourself. Now, we tend to feel a little bit more critical about ourselves during the Virgo full moon. We just had it there on the 18th, and you've got it crossed here. The, the moon is showing up in your reading. So if you've been feeling a little bit critical of yourself or a little bit critical of your situation in the last week or so, know that it is down to planetary alignments. We all get a little bit grouchy around about that time, and we tend to blame ourselves. So just have a little bit of compassion for yourself. But I feel like you're transforming your world, and I feel like you're creatively expressing yourself in this world. Um, also, I feel like there, whether it's in spirit or on the physical plane, I feel like there is a feminine energy that is really guiding you or willing you on. Uh, I feel like there is um, a feminine energy who has got your back, okay? I mean, I feel it's an older matriarchal type person, so it could be a grandma type energy, uh, but I feel like they're guiding you and they're actually giving you signs. They're showing you golden stars. 
So whenever you see a golden star, know that this person is with you and giving you a sign that you're on the right path and that you're making the right decisions. So uh, look out for golden stars because they're showing up quite heavily for you. There's lots, okay? And over the next four to five weeks, you're gonna notice them pretty much everywhere because that, that influence, uh, I feel like you're on the right path and I feel like there is some, it's for you to have hope. They want you to have hope and believe and have faith because they feel like your faith is wavering in a certain area of your life, okay? Now, the Seven of Pentacles is about the effort that you put in. And it tends to mean that you've been really patient and you've been really hardworking, but nothing seems to occur or you feel like you get little reward for everything that you've been putting in. Success is assured. Success is coming. But you may have felt like giving up several times because this card is in the resistance position. You may feel like it's not rewarding and sometimes you feel a little bit like scattered in your energy or unfulfilled in the potential that you have. You can give like you're capable of giving your all. And you actually bring a lot to the table, but sometimes you may feel like people do not recognize your potential and don't give you opportunity. Um, but they're indicating this is all about to change. Uh, some of you are actually taking the initiative to make your own way, make your own opportunity. So with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like this is you questioning the effort that you put into something and what you get out of it. And if you feel like the odds are not stacked in, in the right way, you may feel that it's time to move on or it's time to, um, you know, take a leap of faith elsewhere. We've got the moon card, which is like an energy in this position of confusion. Um, it's like frustrated or disillusioned with the amount of effort that you're putting in and, you know, you're valuing yourself and you know that you deserve better, but you feel like it never seems to come, even though you put your all into everything. Okay, the moon card is like, Things hidden come to light. All of a sudden, in the right time, things change. And you must trust your intuition because the moon card is all about intuition. You know, the mystery of the universe is sometimes we work really hard and, you know, it never quite catches. And then we take our attention off it and let it breathe a little bit. And then it shows up in our world. So I feel like they're indicating there's a lot of growth going on here. But hold true to your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams because you're going through a cycle. And this cycle is about to change where there is a lot more affluence. There's a lot more money. There's a lot more, um, you know, opportunity that is coming your way. So I feel some of you may have been working really hard and felt like you've been unnoticed um, all this time. And if you're deciding to stay where you're at, for example, where you're working, I feel like all of a sudden uh, you get noticed with the sun card that is about light. It is about, uh, you know, an energy being shone upon you. This is about people becoming aware of your uh, potential and your capabilities, especially since we've got the King of Wands here and the Ace of Wands. And I feel like people are becoming aware that you deserve an opportunity and I feel like they're elevating you, okay? We've got the Sun card, which is um, an outcome energy. This is your outcome um, position. The Sun is all about success, but it's more than that. It's about you being happy. It's about you uh, gaining that happy ever after. It's the, the contentment and the happiness that you've been seeking. So I feel this is about you being truly aware in what you want and trusting that it will be delivered to you. Yes, it's going to be hard work. You're not afraid of that. We've got the King of Pentacles, which is already putting the hard work in and the Empress has already planted the seeds. So I feel like you've already done the groundwork um, and I feel like you're building upon that. The star is about like a spotlight coming on you and I feel like you're going to feel that positive energy and optimism. This is going to be a time of plenty where things start to flourish for you and I feel like you will be very grateful for the way things turn out, okay? Um, now we've got the King of Wands here. Okay, just as I touch this card, they're showing me a cardinal bird. A cardinal bird. I rarely get that image, rarely, like once in a blue moon. Now that is all about a symbol of luck, prosperity, good fortune, cardinal bird. Uh, I love them. They're so, they're so unique. So that either you just saw one of those or you're going to see one of those. I mean, it doesn't have to be in real life. It can be in a poster or in a magazine or something. And you're like, oh, cardinal bird. Okay. I feel like this is another symbol for you to look out for. Okay. Um, now, the King of Wands is about having love and fire in your belly, okay? Aries, this is your card. This is about you being a bold leader, taking the initiative. You're the sort of person who can be spontaneous and take that initiative to go after something. I mean, the King of Wands is a leadership position, someone who uh, knows how to lead the troops and inspire them. So I feel like you are being inspired to take action, but also inspiring others in some area of your life. And I feel like with this card, I feel like you are aligning yourself with 
your intentions and your vision. Um, when you get this card as well, it's like keep true to your vision, but don't be closed off to other ideas or new ideas because I feel like being flexible is very important at this time. Um, using your intuition. Um, give your attention to the things that deserve your attention and sort of phase out things that distract you or uh, take you away from your goals and dreams. Uh, King of Wands is that boost of energy. Okay, now they just gave me the w one word, which is very interesting, sponsorship. Sponsorship. So either you are doing some sort of charity events and you are uh, gaining sponsorship for it, um, or you've given some money to charity and sponsored something. Um, I feel like maybe this is if this is through work for example this could put you in, in connection with someone who's of influence uh because i feel like they see your generosity um because I, I just see someone giving money to charity so if that was you um you don't nobody really gives well people shouldn't uh nobody really gives money to charity to sort of like signal to other people look at me i'm giving money to charity i'm an awesome person i don't feel that at all i feel like you're giving money out of the goodness of your heart and someone notices uh, you're so either for example if you're already at a workspace and you've done like a fun run or a marathon or something to raise money for a charity in some way I feel like people are looking at your benevolent heart and seeing actually you know what Aries works really hard and they're an awesome person and I just see them sort of noticing you and giving you an opportunity that they're not giving anyone else okay so just be aware of that um, also with this card it's interesting because they're show they're showing me the number here and it says 447 there but they're actually showing me another number in this water because I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading and they're showing me 247 so now I'm gonna just in case it's like it looks like 447 I mean that could be 947 I don't really know no I feel like it's a 447 because they're they've all got 447 on there so it must be a run a print run so 447 but they're showing me 247 as well so maybe 447 247 could be someone's number or it could be um a place where someone lives uh, between 247 and 447 i'm not really sure please take it as it resonates they show me that the numbers are important okay i mean 447 could be important to somebody and 247 could be important to somebody else so please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone now wow uh i just got a really big image here of a black forest ghetto oh now that's just made me like be hungry right um so either you are making maybe you're a caterer black forest ghetto uh, i mean maybe some of you are taking a trip to the black forest i can't imagine the black forest ghetto actually came from the black forest but it may have done um but they just showed me that black forest ghetto so either I mean, Aries, we stepped into your season, so, you know, it'll be happy birthday time for you all. So happy birthday to those who've um, already started having birthdays and for those who are yet to come um, when you see this reading. It depends on where you when you see this reading, of course. Uh, perhaps that's what you've asked for, a Black Forest Gateau to celebrate your birthday. So please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure how it does, okay? Uh, King of Wands is someone in a position of power, someone in a position of leadership. So I feel like uh, there will be an offer coming on in because we've got the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is like a, you know, a bud that is kind of starting to blossom. It could be a new project, it could be an inspiration to create a new project or a desire to create something different in your world. A spark of brilliance or a vision that comes to light that gives you like a new adventurous spirit in your career. Some of you are going to find a new way of doing something within your career that gives you a little bit more energy or a little bit more excitement because you may have felt like you've been in that mundane kind of like day-to-day -day um, sort of repetitive cycle and routine that you're looking for inspiration. Now, I cannot ignore the fact that we've got, um, you know, two court cards here in your details uh, energy. Um, so, I mean, you and a person, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. There could be like a benevolent boss that wants to offer you a raise or a promotion because this can be, you know, like a, a new opera coming on in. Um, when you get this card, this is like feeling a connection and a powerful sort of transformational card that you know allows you to dream big to get the two opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of wands now wands are all about dreams goals passion setting targets and smashing them right out of the park and i feel this is you getting both ends of the spectrum here being in a position of respect and leadership and having the courage to go after that dream or goal when you get this card it's about you dreaming your um 
visions or your wishes to light. They're coming true, okay? So don't doubt your wonderful self. Everything happens in divine timing. Um, but I feel like there's someone here, either it is a person of influence, whether you're looking online at people that you admire and think, you know what, I'd love to be able to do that. And then you put yourself on a course to do that. Um, and you start learning the ropes in that area or you use your intuitive gifts to get you to that space. Or it could be a benevolent boss that sees your potential and offers you something um, because you truly deserve it. And you, there's a lot of more money attached to it. And I feel like it's a real exciting position where people sort of notice you. There's a real awakening in your career uh, that sees you elevating. And I, I just feel like you're bringing your A game. It's almost like you are inspired to do that all of a sudden after a period of feeling a little bit low vibe or a little bit disenchanted with um, your career progress. But I feel it's heading in the right direction is what I'm getting, okay? There's more money attached to it, uh, inspiration, passion, uh, success. I feel like even in uncertain moments, you're gonna be surprised at the opportunity that comes your way because you've already done the hard work. For those of you who are not in a job right now, you're not, uh, you're looking for a job. Um, I do feel like there is a big company uh, that offers you an opportunity and more money than you've er ever earned before, okay? Um, for some of you, you're actually going to be setting up your own business, but I feel there's going to be an alliance. I feel like there's somebody helping in some way. There's gonna be a creative alliance here that um, allows you to be very, very successful. And it's got, I am determined, I am sacred, I am supported, I have permission, and I am worthy. Very important, okay? First is number 42. When you reduce it, four plus two is six, which is the number of love, balance, harmony, and generosity, okay? Whenever you get a six, it is about giving and receiving. So that's that generous spirit. Uh, as I said, some of you are gonna be doing like some sort of charity work and you're going to, it's almost like there's a connection there in a charity position that gives you a new opportunity to earn more money. And uh, you know, it says, I am determined. So you're a worker, you, you're not afraid of hard work. It will be hard work, you know that, but I feel like you're gonna enjoy it uh, because it is so rewarding. We've also got I am sacred. So remember, you bring a lot to the table. You have a lot to offer when it comes to your career. And you know, it's number 11, so that's you being on your soul path. Um, the first card here is the, the High Priestess, which is about sacred wisdom. So remember, you have a lot of uh, intuitive knowledge already, my beautiful Aries. So there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong. I feel like it's a system. You know, it's, it's about being in the right place at the right time. And I feel like you will do that. I am supported. There is definitely someone guiding you. I mean, you, you all have a guide. You all have uh, people in spirit guiding you as well. But there's a matriarchal type figure. Uh, I want to say older. So I, it could be grandma kind of energy um, guiding you. And remember the gold stars, okay? Because she's, she, this person is showing me gold stars. And um, this is something to alert you to their presence, but also to alert you that there is positive change. It's almost like they're showing you stars for a reason. So either it's a, an in-joke with you and this person, or stars are something you've asked for. Uh, it could be that stars are aligning to bring you success or being guided by the stars uh, in some way. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. It says, I have permission. Okay, you've got this. I feel like you're taking the initiative to go for something. You are ready and you're ready now, okay? And we've also got I am worthy, the most important card of all, okay? Number three, which is the Empress card. This is your challenge, as I said, for the next four to five weeks to recognize that you have value and that you are worthy of better. You're worthy of everything that you intend to achieve and you will achieve it. So believe and receive. That is the most important thing. Remember, you are worthy and it will show up in your world, okay? I'm just gonna get you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for guys going angels. Oh, wow. So we've got a seahorse. Now, whenever we got a seahorse, that tends to connect to partnership. Uh, can talk about dreams and, you know, longevity. So I do feel like there is something that matches your frequency that is a long-term potential uh, in terms of your career. It's connected to your heart space. Um, I also feel like you're going against the grain in some way because they're showing me right now the male uh, seahorse um, pregnant. Okay, so... Um, that's like something that is unusual to nature, okay? It's not typical of the male species of, uh, the male, yeah, the male species of something to have the children, but a seahorse does. I think I got that right. Or maybe it's the, the male seahorse who looks after the children. Uh, you correct me on that because I'm, all of a sudden I'm kind of like 
questioning myself. You know when you do that? Um, they're just showing me the image of a pregnant seahorse, so I'm assuming um, it's it's masculine. But anyway, uh, what I'm getting from the energy, and I'm probably wrong about the um, seahorse, um, the, the male seahorse holding the eggs or something like that, so uh, I will look it up online. And I do apologize in advance for um, not knowing it if I've got it wrong there. Uh, always happy to admit when I might be wrong. But um, what I'm getting is you're doing something different out of the norm. You're doing something that either has not been done before in your family, for example, or you're doing something um, that goes against the grain. Be your wonderful authentic self because you going against the grain in some way actually makes you stand out from the crowd. And nobody wants to fit in when you were born to stand out, right? And you're born to stand out is what they're giving me, okay? I'm gonna leave that there, but first they want me to put this on the Ace of Wands. So it's like an offer that aligns with you, that gives you creative responsibility, that gives you some sort of exciting energy that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning and achieve is what they're giving me. It's like a long held dream, I feel. So I will leave it like that. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Aries. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. And just before we go, they're giving me one more image and it's of someone eating some food from a polystyrene kind of like takeaway, uh, takeout box. And uh, it's one of those, it's like a wooden fork or something like that. You know, those wooden forks. They're showing me someone eating out of one of those right now, a takeaway thing. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you, okay? Um, I don't really know how to decode that if it's not in the physical sense. Um, yeah, so I, I will leave that there, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Aries. Love and light.